everyone. My name is Kayla Statham, and I am the 4-H and adult agriculture educator with Cornell Cooperative Extension in Rensselaer County. As educators, we are taking the initiative to provide educational opportunities for youth during this time while they are out of school. So, in honor of Ag Literacy Week wrapping up this week, and also National Ag Day, which will be celebrated on March 24th this year, I would like to do a reading of this year's Ag Literacy Book. Right This Very Minute by Liesl Detlefsen and Renee Carilla. What's that you say? You're hungry for breakfast? Right this very minute. Then you need a farmer. You have the stories of so many right here on your table. Right this very minute in a citrus grove, a grower tests oranges for ripeness. When the fruit is ready, the harvesting crew will pick the oranges, which will be squeezed into the juice you drink in the morning. Right this very minute in a new field on a wheat farm, a farmer drills furrows the perfect depth for seeds. Your pancakes were made with wheat that was grown harvested, and ground into flour. Right this very minute, in a sugar bush filled with maple trees, a sugar maker replaces old collection buckets with a new tubing system to carry maple sap to a storage tank. The sap will be boiled down in evaporators until it becomes thick and sweet like the maple syrup you've poured on your pancakes. What's that you say? You'd like a snack? Right this very minute. Then you need a farmer. You have the knowledge of so many right here in your hands. Right this very minute, as the sun sets on a cranberry marsh, a grower starts protecting the crop from frost. The grower, will, the grower will be up all night checking the sprinklers that keep the plants from freezing. Also, cranberries can become a part of your trail mix. Right this very minute on a southern farm, a peanut farmer installs soil sensors to make sure the fields aren't too wet or too dry. The sensors help the farmer decide when and how much water and how much to water these sensitive plants. What's that you say? It's time for lunch? Right this very minute. Then you need a farmer. You have the hard work of so many right here in your lunchbox. Right this very minute, a dairy farmer tends to the cows. The cheese in your sandwich was made with milk from cows that must be milked at least twice a day, whether it's a weekday, a Saturday, a birthday, or a holiday. Right this very minute, farmers till and test the soil for nutrients to make sure it's healthy before planting seeds that will grow into long, crunchy carrots. Right this very minute, an apple grower works with a beekeeper to bring beehives into an orchard. Hundreds of thousands of honeybees will pollinate the pale pink blossoms, helping each tree grow many bushels of apples for you to enjoy. What's that you say? You're ready for dinner? Right this very minute then you need a farmer. You have the pride of so many right here on your plate. Right this very minute, a cattle rancher moves the herd to a wide pasture to graze. She cares for the cows and welcomes their calves into the world. When the calves are old enough, they will move to, a new pa they will move to new pastures or feed yards 
before they are harvested for the beef that will be made into hamburgers. Right this very minute, a farmer plans a crop rotation, rotation schedule to keep the soil healthy and grow more of the very best vegetables, like the potato you've topped with broccoli and cheese. Right this very minute, some farmers prepare produce for delivery to grocery stores and others box it up, box it up to sell at local farmers markets. Before lettuce and tomatoes are ever get tossed in a salad or put on top of a hamburger, they must travel from the farm to hungry customers. What's that you say? You'd like dessert. Right this very minute? Then you need a farmer and sometimes a whole farming family. You have the dedication of so many right here on your fork. Right this very minute, a grower checks the weather forecast in a family-owned strawberry patch, while workers help hundreds of visitors pick their own strawberries. Right this very minute, a family checks their backyard coop to make sure the chickens have enough feed and fresh water. Then they collect the eggs that get made into foods like the shortcake in your bowl. What's that you say? You want to grow your own food? Right this very minute. Then you need to think like a farmer. You can help plant a garden right here in your community. Right this very minute, you and your friends, family, and neighbors can work together to choose which crops to grow in your gardens. In a few months, you will enjoy healthy snacks and meals made with the fruits and vegetables you harvest yourselves. Every single day of every year, farmers tend their crops, care for their animals, and work hard to feed their families and yours. Next time you eat your breakfast, snack, lunch, dinner, or dessert, remember that somewhere, right this very minute, there's a farmer to thank for your delicious food. And if someday you decide to become a farmer, right that very minute, you'll be doing your part to feed the world too. The end. So very quickly, I would like to go over the activity. So if you guys follow this link, it should pull it up for you guys right here. Perfect. So it'll take you to the Ag, the New York Ag in the Classroom website. If you follow it all the way down, it'll take you to the description of right this very minute. And then if you keep going past it, it will take you to lessons and resources. So you can follow the links here, which will take you to different activities that you can do. Um, I've got some with me right here for the younger grade levels. Um, there will be a resource educator guide, which kind of has, um, it gives you a little bit more information about the book and the activity, that how long it'll take, which will be about 40 minutes. This activity is, um, more geared toward grade level two. Um, but it kind of goes through the lesson and activity, uh, questions that you can ask along with it, vocabulary words that you might want to go over beforehand. And then the activity with the one that I have is a matching game. So for example, if you guys can see this, so you will be able to print this off from the website and you will kind of you can mix them up or do it however you want and then it's a matching game so you've got your products and what they came from so for example at the top we've got cheese which would have come from the milk from cows um same for ice cream down here i don't know if you can see it but these are bottles of syrup so like we talked about in the book would come from this picture over here which are the sap trees and then down at the bottom, you've got cooked chicken 
and eggs, which of course would come from the chicken, and just kind of making sure that you relay it back to the book and the farmer um, and who does what as you go through it. If you are looking for activities for older kids, if you keep going down, there are links and resources. So you can do grades, uh, grade levels K through second, three through five, and then if you keep going down, um, just some extra books that you can go with. And then of course, down at the bottom is the, the Ag Literacy Archive. So I'm just gonna pull this back up. So thank you so much for joining me for a reading of Right This Very Minute and a quick description of this year's activity. And again, you can go to that website. They have a bunch of different resources, some people you can contact, but also please feel free to contact myself. I have put my email address down at the bottom, kls342 at cornell.edu. Um, I would be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. So again, thank you so much for joining me. Um, hopefully I will see you guys next week for another Ag Literacy reading, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.